All right, guys, we're back. Play some more Pokemon. Hopefully, it runs a bit smoother this time. Did have a bit of issues trying to get it all set up originally, but if you did join us earlier, we were obviously uh, we just came out of Wedgehurst and we got the train. The train stopped because there were a bunch of Wooloos on the track, stopping us from progressing any further. So now we've come to the wild area, did a bit of exploring. Um, so, so quite a good concept, you know. I like the concept of it. Obviously, just like a sort of massive sort of area that you can just explore and catch Pokemon in different sort of regions that have different weather and different Pokemon that spawn. We've got Pokemon like that who uh, spawn just out in the wild, not in the grass, and they um, they're a lot harder to to take on. Oh, there's a Haunter! Oh my gosh, I want to go for that Haunter. I'm a massive, massive Ghastly, uh, Ghastly Haunter Gengar fan, but I know. It's going to be like a level 28. My Pokemon all around level 15 at the moment. Uh, we also found these dens, which uh, allow us to charge up our Gigantamax band, I believe. There's a Butterfree there, again, spawning in the wild. It's probably going to chase after us. Um, but, yeah, like I say, it's uh, they're always a bit a bit too overpowered for me. Um, yeah, it's always a bit difficult to judge. I don't know, like I say, I don't know what level my Pokemon need to be on. Uh, for the first gym, normally it's it's pretty low. There's a there's a, what is that a Zatu? Or is that a Natu? Uh, it's one of the two. I can guarantee that. Um, but like I say, like the Pokemon that spawn not in grass um, are a lot higher level. They're all like level 20, 30. So we're not going to try and deal with them at the moment because it might just be a bit too difficult for us. But what we're going to do. Oh, there is something in the. the oh, this is. So I didn't know how to fish earlier. I was asking myself, how do you fish? And I never got an answer of how to fish. Because I tried using my fishing rod by the lake. And it never worked. So it seems as if maybe you just have to have a shadow. So if you see shadows in the water, you'll likely find Pokemon lurking beneath them. Face shut a shadow. Can't even say that. Face such a shadow and press the A button to cast your line and, and try to press. Try to catch. Try to, try to fish up a catch. What is going on with you? I can't even read. If your fishing rod shakes, press the A button once more to reel in the Pokemon. Okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. We got it, we got it. The reaction on that, it's a Goldeen! Wild Goldeen. Yeah, uh, Tootle, probably not the Pokemon they use for this. Let's go ahead and switch out Yamper. Didn't even see what level that uh, that Goldie was. Goldie used the water pulse. Level 10. I mean, we'll catch it still. Never gonna complain about catching a Pokemon. Don't know what's quite going on with my screen. It seems to be a bit glitching out. Don't know if that's like a HDMI connection. Uh, issue, but uh, let's go ahead and just try to sort out the cables a bit. Hopefully that might have fixed it. That still seems to be there. I'm not too sure what that, what that is, what's going on right now. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on with the glitchy screen. A bit annoying. Um, yeah, we, uh, we're going to go ahead and kill this Goldeen. Hopefully, anyway. Yep, there we go. Goldeen is dead. Probably be catching a lot more Pokemon, but it's just not how I roll. I've got a squad of six on me at the moment. If I see a cool looking Pokemon that I want to take on and I feel like it's going to be good uh, down the line, then I will obviously uh, collect them. The wild area is overflowing with a special sort of energy measured in watts. You can gather watts yourself from glowing Pokemon dens and glowing Pokemon in the wild. You'll also find trainers in the wild area who are willing to give you all sorts of items if you just give them some of your watts. Okay, well, I won't do that right now. Trying to figure out what's going on with this uh, glitchy screen. I don't know what that is. Oh, there are some people over here. Let's have a look. What are you? Hey there, trainer. You've just taken your first step into the world of camping. People call me the Camping King. I can help you out with all your camping needs. Remember, everyone starts out as a rookie. If you've got any questions about camping, feel free to ask me. Is there anything camping related? Uh, no thanks, mate. That's fine. Well, what about you? So, what do you like? Do what can this guy sell us for what's heal ball a wishing piece? 
Uh, low kick, iron tail, calm mind, iron head, hydro pump. 8,000 watts, okay. Um, don't quite have enough for that. <laughs> I think I've only got about 700. Let's go up here. So this is Moto Stoke. Yes. We're going to head to Moto Stoke. Which I believe is where the first gym is. I hope it's where the first gym is. That looks very gym esque. Might be. Might be the gym. Um, yeah, this looks cool. I think the whole like environment looks very cool in this game so far. I'm really enjoying it. All right, let's go and explore Moto Stoke. What are these guys talking about? This city is just massive. I need to keep checking my town map. Otherwise, I know I'll get lost. Here in the Galar region, I'd say it's fair to call the champion a regional hero. We're all transfixed by everything he does. Uh, that's the whatever Mimi, Mimi, Mimi something. I don't know what it's called. Shrinking down to thin Pokeballs, and the next thing you know, growing massive by Dynamaxing. It must be a lot of work for Pokemon. Yeah, it must be. Now you come to think of it, right? Minchino, that's what it is. Likes things neat and tidy. It'll brush away any dust with its tail. Of course it will. Go ahead and check out this sign. Welcome to the city of Motostoke. An industrial city studded with steam-powered marvels of modern engineering. Hey, over here. Where's Sonya? Ah, by the Pokemon Center. Cool. Don't know if my Pokemon need a, uh, a uh, heal, but we're going to go ahead and heal them anyway after this conversation. Real ace of you to make it through the wild area. Seems like your trek, you ran into ragged Pokemon though. You should pop into the Pokemon Center. Besides, there's something in there I bet you'll get a kick out of if you're a real trainer and all. Okay, let's go ahead and look at it. What is, uh, what are we going to get a kick out of in here? Oh, looks like the Rotomi is free. Rotomi are a kind of Rotom information service. It's a handy machine for trainers, you can even use one to customise your lead card. Why don't you try playing around with your lead card a bit, Jack? Here's a sample for you. You got Leon's lead card. Okay, you can show off your achievements by making a lead card. You can customise your card by using the card maker, found at every Pokemon Center. Doing so will also update your card with the latest information. Trainers all have their own lead cards, and you can swap cards with other trainers that you can connect with using communication features. You can view all the lead cards you've collected by checking out your album, which you can find in the lead card option of the X menu. But Moto Stoke, Moto Stoke is sure, sure is big, right? Not to worry. Sonya is here to show you around a bit. Sorry guys, I'm still just trying to figure out what's going on with the screen. Not too sure what that is. Come find me after you heal your Pokemon. Okay, I will. The opening ceremony, huh? I get a bit worked up when I, when I think how exciting and moving it was to actually stand on a stadium's pitch for the first time. Okay. Let's go over here and use the card maker. Yeah, why not? We've just been... Uh, let's up. Uh, can we make a new league card? Yeah, we can. Okay, background. Uh, what do we want? I don't want to use Leon as my background. He seems a bit corny. That seems cool. That also looks pretty, pretty darn cool. Let's have a look at the effect. That looks cool. Alright, I'll leave. Uh, what about this one? Uh, I don't like that. I like that. Put some bubbles on there and then a frame. Uh, oh, what about this one? Ah, uh, yeah, why not? Why not? Next step, change modes. Move. Oh, okay. So, ah, whoa, what is going on? How do we, how do we move him down? I want to move up and down. Move and rotate. Okay. Ah, there we go. Ah, I see. Uh, uh. Move you up a bit. There we go. That's probably all right. We can rotate. I don't really want to rotate. We can change our expression. Um. 
What is that? Wow. Uh. Let's just go with that, I guess. I think that's probably the face that I pull the most. Uh, clear matte. Click matte coating. I don't want matte. Oh, okay. I just seen it shine. Let's go. Let's print that. Choose the reprint option if you'd like to do is get the latest info on your current card data. Okay, whatever. Let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon real quick. I feel like we're okay for all the items that we have. Alright. Tutor and the rest of the team are all better. Thank you very much, Nurse Notjoy. Uh, right. There we go, Sonya's out here. So, brilliant young trainer who's brave for wild area. Do you remember what your goal in Modo so kids? I'm here for the gym challenges. Yes, gym challenge opening ceremony. Now, I'm still not sure about what level to be, what level you're meant to be for this gym. But I feel like one of my Pokemon, you know, being around the level 15 mark might be okay. I guess we'll soon see, really. Use that lift over there to get to the stadium, okay? Okay, we'll do. Well, later, I'm going to swing by the shop while I'm here, but don't forget to register at the stadium, okay? I'm, I'm not going to not register at the stadium. That's the whole point. I'm here, Sonya. I mean, thanks for, like, consistently reminding me to, but... Oh, look, they got post boxes as well. Got pretty cool red post boxes. Obviously, this game based off of uh, London and the UK. Leon throws his Pokeballs with so much dizzy energy. I wonder if the Pokemon is like get dizzy. You gotta throw Pokeballs, throw them over and over to get your pitching techniques all in. What's in here? We just found a poke. We just found a Pokeball in the trash. Cool. Can't get past that way. All right. Also, kid, you probably shouldn't be sitting on the edge like that. What if you fall? Someone needs to call that guy's parents. Oh, what's over here? I always bring flowers home on special days or even normal days. My Pokemon love the scent of flowers so much. We use Pokemon Move Growth to raise our flowers so they get rather large. Ah, that's. I mean, that's a pretty unique idea. We can get. Is this a barber shop? Can we get our hair cut? What? We can... 3,000 for... Uh, uh, I mean, I'm wearing a hat. Right. Right. What kind of look did I want? Uh, Caesar cut. Medium and wavy. Braids. Side part. Undercut. Bowl cut. Long hair. Uh, I don't want long hair. I mean, mine is shortcut, which is what I've already got. Uh, undercut. What's undercut? Yeah, why not? Let's go with that. And what colour do we want? Caramel blonde. I don't know what that is. Gold, wine red. Oh, that looks cool. Okay, I'll accept that. Can I get my like? Can I take my hat off as well? I want to take my hat off if I'm going to be looking like this. Ah uh, no! Ah, oh, they gave me the option to put my hat back on. I don't. How do I? How do I? How do I take my hat off? Well, like, see, there's no real option to take off your hat using this menu. <laughs> oh well, all right. Well, uh, we'll have to take it off at a later stage if we can find another clothes shop somewhere. Ah, speaking of, can we take off my hat using this thing? Yeah. Okay. We can go in here. Rem ah, no, no. Remove the hat. Cool. No, remove it. Cool. Yes. Yes. Alright. This uh, screen glitching thing is really getting on my nerves. Not sure what's going on with it. Um, 
I might have to momentarily stop streaming to try and see if I can sort out what's going on with it, because it wasn't happening earlier. Um, right, there's an Onyx over here. Onyx is big, but it can get even bigger by Dynamaxing. Oh man, a Dynamax Onyx would be huge, wouldn't it? Came all the way from the Alola to watch the gym challenge in person. Cool. If I could choose my own uniform number, which one would I pick? I can't make up my mind. I can't wear the same uniform as my favourite gym leader. I get way too nervous. Yeah, me too, mate. Oh, you can't go in that shop. Here, let me give you one of these high-tech earbuds. Oh, no need to thank me. It's just a whim. You've obtained a set of high-tech earbuds. Strange earbuds that allow you to control the volume of various sounds. When you put them in your ears, they actually let you control the sounds of your surroundings. You can even make them stop specific sounds like Pokemon cries. Huh. Okay. I mean, weird. A weird thing to have in this game, but... Whatever. Mr. Rose has a real love for the Galar region. It's not enough to help us keep us... Not enough help to keep us supplied with energy. He even supports the gyms. <laughs> I'm always fighting by airplanes and whatnot. Oh, those giant chunks of metal move so fast. Pokemon don't bother me, though. Alright. <clears throat> so we need to go up here somehow. Is this Hop? Is Hop coming along? Oh, it's uh, Leon with his Charizard. I'd surely never make it to the stadium without you showing me the way, partner. Even with a huge old thing like this bang in the middle of the city, I still get lost. Jack! Alright! One look tells me that you've become a trainer worthy of that endorsement I gave you. And yes, I reckon you might even be ready to use this. Here, try giving this to your partner to hold. A miracle seed? Yeah, I don't know, is that? It's just grass, isn't it? An item to be held by Pokemon is a seed imbued with life force that like boosts the power of grass like moves. Yes, of course, okay. So, Grookey is going to be taking that. You can take that lift up to the city's upper level if you're headed for a stadium. Then. I will do. But, I'm going to take your advice. We are going to... Go to Pokemon. Where is the old Grookmeister? Let's give him the. What was it? It would have been a miracle. Seed. There we go. Right, Grookey is now powered up a bit more. Hopefully. Anyway, let's go ahead over here. Whoa! The Cosmos stage. What the hell is this? Pokemon mascot! Ta-da! Took the time to talk to a Pokeball, so you deserve a little reward. I obtained the Pokeball! Love your costume, man. In case you were wondering, I'm not just any old Pokeball. Then who am I, you ask? Well, the answer is they call me the Ball Guy. Fucking Ball Guy. Okay. Whatever, mate. You do you. You made it, too! Motorstoke Stadium! This is where the opening ceremony will be held. Everyone will be watching the opening cere ceremony for the gym challenge. My mum, your mum, the whole world! It's getting me a bit nervous, really. No, oh, this isn't nerves. I'm only trembling because I'm so excited. Come on, Jack. It's the time the world learned our names. Alright, mate. Uh, I'll catch you on the inside. I'm gonna go ahead and chat with this guy. Everyone in participating in the gym challenge is welcome to stay at the buddy drop in. And what about you? We need staff are here to provide support for the various matches that occur throughout. Cool. Let's head inside the stadium. It's uh, looking like a pretty big stadium. Can't understand any of that language. Would you look at this? The place is packed with gym challenges. Every one of these folks is another rival. Let's get signed up. Who the hell is that? Seriously, what a piece of work. If you're here to register for the gym challenge, I'll need to see your endorsement, please. Fancy that! This is the first time we've had a challenger endorsed by the champion. Well now. You've had two, because I am as well. What? Two of you at, this, at once? I wonder what's come over Leon this year. The two of you must be something special. I'm Hop. I'm Leon's little brother, in fact. And the next champion. 
Get me all signed up, would you? Well, yes, I'm trying to, if you just give me a moment. There, you two have been successfully registered as gym challengers. You can now choose your preferred number for your uniform if you'd be so kind. It will be displayed on the back of your uniform you must wear for any official match. Well, you know how we do. Immature as hell, 69 has to be. Number 69, is it? Yeah, of course. And here, please wear this gym challenge band at all times to identify yourself as a gym challenger. The opening ceremony for the gym challenge is to be held here tomorrow. All trainers taking part have been booked at a, have been booked a room at a nearby Buddy Drop Inn. That's the league chairman for you, even booked us all hotel rooms. I'm off to check out the fancy digs. Alright mate, I'm gonna chat with some of these other challengers and see what Pokemon they're bringing. You're looking a little bit gobsmacked by all this. You must be from some small country town, is that it? I'm quite the same myself. Okay, we don't know who you are. There are heaps of us starting out like this, but only a small number will make it to the end. Yes, I bet. Hmm, so everyone here is a gym challenger? Yeah, you got that right. I mean, I am. What about you? Let's all do our utmost as gym challengers. I'm dead nervous and this is the only opening ceremony. What's the matter with me? My Pokemon all seem to be aching to battle. So why can't I seem to feel the same way? Uh, maybe just, you know, some of us have got it and some of us don't. Oh, it's this person. I was endorsed by the chairman himself. In other words, among all those elite enough to get an endorsement, I'm the most elite of all. So why don't you clear off and try not talking to me again, would you? It's positively criminal of you, wasting the time of someone as, as important as I am. What a douchebag. Like, what a like, straight up douchebag. Okay. Where is the body drop in? You must be Challenger Jack. The body drop in is down this way if you'd be so kind as to follow me. Cool. So. Asking ye shall be answered, I guess. So we're going down this way. What is that? Oh, I don't know what that is. Oh, it's the train station. Challenger Jack, we've arrived at the body Oh no, it's not the train station, it's just the, the symbol of body. Try to get some rest and build your strength for what's to come. Okay, I will try my best. Go inside here and see. Let's check out the new digs, shall we? Home away from home. Oh, look at that statue! Hiya! Looks like you both got yourselves registered. Oh, hey Sonya, what are you doing at our hotel? I'm researching, I'm researching the mysterious Pokémon that are said to be in a slumbering world. I reckon if I look into some of Galar's legends, I might figure something out. Care to join me? You're already here anyway. <laughs> What's this then? It's a statue of a hero who once saved the Galar region. I could run through the legend right quick if you fancy. Uh, the short version if you please. Long ago, a great black storm covered the Galar region. People called it the darkest day. The land was assaulted by gigantic Pokemon, but they were defeated by a single young hero, bearing a sword and shield, okay. This statue here is meant to depict the young hero of that legend. Huh. I suppose that hero must have been about as strong as Lee then. Looks like you're going to have your hands full with plenty to research though, Sonya. Black storms and swords and shields and all? Heh, <laughs> thanks. I'll muddle through somehow. Don't you worry. You two are staying here at the hotel tonight though, aren't you? Shouldn't you check in? Probably so. And we'll look out for you too, Sonya. If we hear anything about any hero or whatnot, we'll tell you. Yeah, we sure will. But there, I guess, is where they're trying to tie in the whole sword and shield aspect of this uh, Pokemon series. Who are these guys? We all came way out to this big city so that we could probably cheer on gym challenges. Team Yell is here to help after all. You're not. You're in for a battle if you want to stop us. I'm up for that. Yeah, why not? I'll battle Team Yell. What the hell? Is this like the new Team Rocket thing? What's going on? Didn't we tell you, mate? You get in our way and you're in for the battle. Team Yale's about helping. Helping one very special trainer win the gym challenge, that is. We want to make sure she gets cheered on nice and proper. Now you're going to help us. Make some noise. Alright. Well, I'm going to I'm gonna try and sort out. I'm still trying to... I'm having issues with the screen still. Don't know what's going on with it. 
I'm hoping it gets the dodgy HDMI connection. But I'm not sure at the moment in time. But we come up against a Galarian Zigzagoon. Uh, so let's use Water Gun. Team Yell. Man, what a weird, what a weird thing. Right, one more water gun should do it, hopefully. And then your boy Chooks should be going up a level. There we go. There we go, Chootle and Wulu. Both up to level 13. We defeated one of the Grunts. Went looking for a fight and I lost. I'm so pathetic. 7.20, go. Oi, give me a break here. Team Miel, get revenge for me, would ya? Of course, I've got you covered, mate. What could be better than the battle in the lovely hotel lobby? Ah, we are gonna have to take on all of them, I think. The Talons by Team Miel Grant. Nick it, oh that. Go on, choose all. I know you can do it. Alright, uh, let's just water gun it. There we go, choose all taking them out. Left, right, and center. I must have got a bit of carried away being in this swanky hotel and all. Sorry for getting in your way. We're gonna have to fight more of them, probably. I wasn't expecting checking in would be such a big fuss, Jack. What's going on? Sneaking in some Pokemon battles without me? Don't you think you can get ahead of me that easily? I need to get some training in too, so I'm joining. Here, I'll even heal up your Pokemon too. I'm Hop, one of this year's gym challengers, and the one who's going to be the next champion. Now let's have us a nice two on two. I can already hear my victory coming. The only sound you'll make is a whimper of defeat. I highly doubt that, mate, but I like your enthusiasm. Zigzagoon and Nicky. Zootal and Wulu. I don't know, I seriously don't know what's going on with the screen. I think after this sort of interaction I am going to definitely momentarily pause the stream and see if I can't fix this because it's uh, doing my head in a bit. Alright, uh, water gun or nick it again. I don't know what the Wulu's playing at there, but hey, I can't really complain. I mean, so what's the face of Wulu if he feels like drowning is the best way to go about this? Let's tackle the Nicket. There we go, Nicket dead. Hopefully we can hear, hopefully we're not paralyzed. That would be annoying. Oh, 
Come on. There we go. Big Zagoon is dead. First two on two battle though. Cool. Bunch of XP for all of the Pokemon. Always nice. I still don't know what's going on with that screen. Not even screen tearing, is it? It's just. I don't know what's going on with it. Seems like it might be a game related thing, maybe. I don't know. I'm not too sure. But it is really annoying. What are you lot doing here? Marnie? N nothing, we, we was just... I, I know you're all totally curious about the other gym challenges, but you've got to show a, a bit of restraint. Sorry about them, they're just a bunch of my fans who call themselves Team Yell and follow me around cheering for me. I think they've all let it go to their heads a bit. Come on you lot, back home with you now. They're just so caught up with wanting to support me and all they tend to do is get a bit shirty with other gym challenges. Sorry if they caused you any trouble. So you're a gym challenger, huh? Team Yell, yeah, was it? Pretty impressive that you already have your own set of fans to call your own. Right, I am going to see if I can't figure out what's going on with this stream at the moment. I don't know what's going on, I don't like it being on the, on the screen like that, it's just doing my head in. I am going to take a short break and I'll be right back. Alright, seems to have fixed itself, just a simple unplug the HDMI and plug it back in, and it seems to have worked out. Let's go ahead and check in. Good evening and welcome to Body Drop In. You'll see one of the Pokemon trainers entering the gym challenge. Yes. Yes, young Master Jack, I see that the league has booked a room for you. And if I might thank you for helping us out, a sticky situation with those hooligans earlier, I hope you have a pleasant stay with us here. Sleep well. Cool, I will uh, try to sleep well, mate. Thank you very much. Go resting up our Pokemon. Alright, what? why is he practicing like a baseball throw of his Pokeball? What are you doing, mate? Come on. Morning, Hop. So, this is it. Now my legend really begins. Watch out, Jack. I'll beat you to Motorstoke Stadium. You don't have to be so... Such an annoying... Character, man. God damn. Alright. Uh, who's this guy? Onward to Motorstoke Stadium. Time for the opening ceremony. Ah, no, no. Marnie's still in there. I want to go and chat with Marnie. Oh, okay. Gym Challenger, the opening ceremony is starting soon. Please allow me to escort you to the gym stadium. Yes. Okay, let's go. Alright, follow close and be careful not to lose sight of me. We've made it to the stadium entrance. Please hurry to the opening ceremony. Alright, here we go. There he is. Can't wait for the first match. Pretty soon I'll have so many fans. I have to fight them off like Lee does. Do we just go through here? I'm sorry, but challenges taken on the gym mission can only go on from this point. Challenger Jack, wasn't it? We must ask that gym challenges wear the uniforms for official events. 
the opening ceremony marks the beginning of the gym challenge. So you know what that means. That's right, I'll need you to get changed as well. Okay. Let's uh, go ahead and get changed into our, into our gear. See how we're looking, number 69, oh yeah. Don't know what that says, is that how you spell Jack in Galar speak? No idea. Wonderful, you look as sharp as a pin, and that 69 there, that really is the number for you. Of course it is. And we're ready at this, at last, for the opening ceremony for this year's gym challenge. Okay, let's go, opening ceremony time. Oh, it's a full on football stadium, look at this. I am Rose, Chairman of the Pokemon League. I know that everyone gathered here and everyone watching from home at all have been waiting for this big moment. It's my pleasure to finally announce the Galar Reunion Gym Challenge will now begin. Yes, the Gym Challenge. Participants must defeat 8 gym leaders and gather the 8 gym badges to prove their skills as a trainer. Only the most worthy will have the honour of challenging the greatest champion in history! Now, I would like to invite the gym leaders to show themselves. Alright, here we go. First meeting of the gym leaders. Let's go. Let's see who, we, let's see who we're going to be going up against in this generation. Hopefully they show it in order as well. Oh, Slow-mo walks. Look at that. Epic walks. Oh. Oh my gosh, yes, the grass type Milo is a ditto, right? Definitely is a ditto. The Raging Waves, the Master of Water types, Nessa. The Ever Burning Man of Fire, here comes the Fire type veteran, Kabu. Ooh, yeah, Kabu. The Gala Karate Prodigy. Nothing's better than fighting types than B. The Master of Fantastic Theater, it's a charming fairy type user, Opal. The Hard Rock Crusher, please welcome the Rock type Master. Gordy! I think that's meant to say Gordy, I don't know. And last but not least, the Tamer of Dragons, it's Right Hand, the top gym leader. Unfortunately, we're missing one, but these are the gym leaders that we in the Galar region are so proud to call our own. Now, where's, where's the eighth gym leader? Hmm. Interesting. Secret gym leader we don't know about. Very interesting indeed. It's Oh, I thought that was... I was about to say, is that the gym leader coming out? No, it's just me. It's just me. Oh, blinded by the light. Oh, look at this. Oh, man. Don't get nervous. Don't get nervous, mate. You can do this. Standing up there on the pitch in the stadium in front of everyone? There's really no words for it, but I can barely contain myself. My heart's racing. You've made it at last, Hop, and you too, Jack. So, you're the two trainers our champion endorsed himself. Welcome, and it's a delight to meet you. I'm Rose, of course. And what's this? I see you both already have. I see you both already possess Dynamax fans. How wonderful! Seems you two have been led here by the guiding light of the wishing stars. By the way, it was my wonderful company that invented those Dynamax bands, you know. I dare say this year's gym challenge is looking like be an absolute blast. Very good, very good indeed. That means the excitement of the whole Galar region is in some for some excitement. The gym challenge is an excellent opportunity to show off your Dynamax Pokémon. Now I'm terribly sorry, but there is some urgent business I need to attend to. So I must be on my way. Best of luck, both of you. The chairman certainly seems to be in high spirits. Now listen closely, you two. You've both only just started on your path as trainers. If you want to win, you need to do more than just train your Pokémon. You need to train yourselves too. Let's do it, Jack. You know the gym challenge has a set order that you've got to visit the gym room, right? And the first is in Turfield. And to get there, we need to head to Route 3. Cool. The gym challenge is an event which is a 
aspiring trainer travel around the Galar region to try to collect gym badges from 8 gyms. To earn a gym badge you have to complete that gym's mission and also defeat its gym's leader. I mean, not like we haven't played any Pokemon games before, but you know, let's go. So we have to head to Route 3, which is over to our left. Again, not sure how, you know, how, how our Pokemon level is scaled at the moment. Challenger Jack! Chairman asked me to deliver this gift to you. A gift? Such a wonderful thing from the chairman. Such a wonderful man. Um, excuse me. The gift is access to the flying taxi. They allow you into a word. They allow you to, in a word, fly. Call a flying taxi will allow you to travel quickly back to areas you've already visited. Okay. If you use the flying taxi service, one of their well-trained Corby Knight will have you zipping across the Galar region to your desired destination in no time at all. Just open up the X menu and use the time map to choose where you want to go. If it's alright with you, I'll read a segment from the Flying Taxi's user menu. Ahem. Press the X button and select the time map option to choose the place you'd like to go to. Anyway, your next goal should be Turfield, isn't that right, Jack? When travelling to a new place, it's best to get there on your own two legs, don't you think? Yeah, of course, of course it is. Do your best, woo, yeah! Ah, thank you, thank you! Let's go! Uh, I guess we just go this way. Lapras. Oh, it's down here. There's something down here? There's gonna be something down here, right? Oh, there's something sparkly over here. I knew it. X accuracy. Never really been a fan of like the X speed and like X attack and all of that stuff. But... Let's go and see what's down here. Probably nothing. You never know. Um, I don't know. I think this is just the way that we could have gone. Oh, it's a secret area actually. Payday. Sense of great potential as a trainer in you, but it's still a bit early. Please come back when you become the champion. I will do. Let's go fishing over here. Surely there's got to be something cool here. I mean, it's a secret area. I say, Jude, we've already got one of you. Sorry, Jukes. There he is, actually, as well. There is our Jute. I'm just going to go ahead and run away from that. Don't see any point in hanging around. I thought it was going to be something special, but obviously not. Let's go back up here then and. See if we can't make our way, or certainly start making our way towards uh, Turfield through Route 3, and it looks like Route 4 as well. We'll have to go past. Um, right here, can we get in there? Nothing over here is there. Alright, there's a Pokeball. A Silk Scarf. What does that do? Normal type. Cool. Uh, is this like a fire engine room? Can't get in there. Pokemon Center is here. I think our Pokemon are all healed up already. There you are! I've been waiting! Let's have a battle! You and me! We'll get in a bit of training! Okay. We've got to stay keener than anyone else if we want to steal the spotlight from our rival. Why? I don't understand why he's so fixated on battling me every 10 seconds! Come on, Chewtle! Keep up, mate. This is our chance to see if we are up to the gym challenge. I'm, I'm more than up for the gym challenge, mate. I feel like you're not. You get, you get way too overzealous all the time. But he's only level 11, though. So all of our Pokemon are higher than his Wulu. Which, I don't know if it's his highest Pokemon, but certainly give me a better understanding of where we should be in terms of how, you know, how powerful our Pokemon are. And I think we're, we're we're on track. I think we're doing good. Okay, you're pulling out the potions now, are you? All right, that's the eyes. That's no biggie. That's no big deal. That's no big deal. That's a fine by me. We just have to take you out with the next attack, mate. Come on, let's you tackle. Come on, shoot There we go. And boom goes the dynamite. Ooh, he's dead.
about to send out Sobble. Of course I'm gonna switch it. You know I'm gonna switch it, and you know exactly what I'm gonna switch it to, mate. I did this to you last time we battled. You don't think that, so, like, do you, you not think that I can, like, choreograph your moves? And let's use the Maple Leaf. His Sobble is level 14. Probably one of his highest Pokemon. Typical. Should have known you'd master type matchups. Yeah, I, I just said that. I did it last time, but you still haven't known, so. Okay, there we go. Tootle up to level 14. Tootle learn Protect, which makes sense. It's a uh, turtle looking Pokemon. Rocky D wants to learn Pluck. Pluck is the move that allows you to take items away, isn't it? Yeah, if, oh, if the target is getting very take it. Let's go ahead and get rid of Power Trip. Yampa up to level 15 as well. Yampa wants to learn the move Raw Raw. Is the one that switches out Pokemon? Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, we can use Tail Whip. You know, Raw is actually quite a good move to use if you want to switch out Pokemon with your opponents, so we'll keep that in there. And then for this, we'll send out Yampa himself. Take away half of your health and paralyze you. There we go. Super effective. Oh, Grookey almost up to level 16. Not sure what level he evolves on. It's probably like le level 18, but. Always good. Almost level 16. Just what I expect from my rival. You know what? I'll even give you one of my league cards. That's how good I think you did in that battle. Can I give you my league card as well? Our gym challenge starts right now. From here in Motorstoke. Well, the first gym leader will have to tell you. It's a town away. It's a town away. Far off from here. <laughs> Still, you better believe I'm going to keep on winning by way to that championship match. Hello Galop, meet your next champion from the secret town of Postwick, it's me, Hop! Or it's me, Jack. Pro probably gonna be me. It'll, it'll probably be me. Yep, let's go ahead and whack on a quick heal. We hope to see you again! Tootles up to 14. Let's put Dotla in first. If I like Wulu, I don't really use Wulu. Wulu's probably going to be the first Pokemon to go if I do catch something that looks cool. Sorry about that, Wulu. Alright, here we go. If your precious Pokemon get injured, don't forget to heal them up with a potion, and you need antidotes to fix up poison as well. That's true. That is very true. Something shiny over here. Big mushroom, a very large rare mushroom. It's popular with a certain class of collectors. I'm sure it is. Here's a Zigzagoon. Go ahead and train up our Dotler against the Zigzagoon. You can use Bug Bite, right? Or Struggle Bug, even. There we go. And one more. Ah, oh, she's a sand attack. That's alright. As long as we hit, that's alright. Ah! 
No! Come on, please, there we go. Bye bye, Zigzagoon. Sorry I had to end like this. Alright, Dotler and Grookey both leveling up. Grookey grew to level 16. Ah, Grookey's evolving! Let's go! What does Grookey evolve into? I have no clue. Come on, Grookey. Oh, what is that thing? Your Grookey evolved into a wacky. <laughs> okay. Uh, not quite what I was expecting, but I'll take it. The faster a Thwacky can beat out a rhythm with its two sticks, the more respect it wins from its peers to beat Pokemon. Okay. I mean, it looks cool. Forget an old move to use double hit. Double hit is that just like the... Yeah, it hits it. Hits twice in a row. 90, da 90 accuracy, 30 damage. Let's go ahead and get rid of Scratch. Cool! We evolved our Grookey. It looks not what I expected it to look like. Obviously there's been many a fan drawing about what the... Uh, what the evolutions of the starters would look like. And maybe that wasn't perhaps in my mind of what they would look like. But, you know what. I'm not going to complain. I've uh, got my starting Pokemon leveled up. And at level 16, I was expecting it to be level 18. Sometimes it is level 18. But I'll take that. I will take that. Welcome to the team, Wacky. What is this? What is this Pokemon? Ah, it's Gossier. Oh, Gossier. Bug type, it's good against grass because you know bugs love to eat grass. Wooloo almost up to level 14. Again, like I say, don't really use Wooloo that much. Not really a fan of normal type Pokemon if I'm being honest. Oh, yep, that's it. You saw the opening ceremony, right? Then you know why I'm excited and want to battle. I was at the opening ceremony. Did you see it? Did you see it? I was there, last Ray. Obviously, didn't see it. If you didn't see that I was there, you didn't recognise me. All right, a ball pick being sent out. Probably not the best situation for my doctor to be in. Choose all. We can go out there. One more hit on this Volpix. One more hit. Maybe we just need to use Bite. And if Tail works twice in a row... There we go. Wooloo up to level 14. Thank you very much. I'm lost, but I'm still excited. Oh yeah, 1,000. Uh, a... Sneaky, 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 sneaky. And we got it. He free heal balls. Cool. There is a 
little Pokemon, Pokemon girl over here. We want to change the order of our Pokemon. I'll leave Dotto in there. Pokemon school girl or something? I've been studying foreign languages, computers and Pokemon. Good for you. School girl, Hannah. Good. Stop yawning. I can't stop yawning today. I don't know what it is. Pancham. Don't worry. Dot looks like he's covered. Pancham is a ghost type or a psychic type or something. There we go. Alright, uh, spike type, of course, that's why confusion is super effective against it. Duh. Duh. Ah, oh, what? How dare you? How very dare you? Gonna use it again? Oh my god. Please. Bring back Dot Lab. Ah, uh, Fine, that's fine. Flying type against the fighting type. I won't say no to that. What? I lost my Pokemon? Sadly, it wasn't enough. I guess not. Oh, what is that Pokemon called? I forget his name. Skunk, Skunk Tank, something is it? Stunky. Hey, certain that's a, that's a old Pokemon, isn't it? Ah, oh, it's gonna be a Dark type. So. Be affected, yeah. Damn it! See, I know the type matchups, I just don't know the Pokemon type. Like, I, I can't look at a Pokemon and say, okay, it's that type. Because then again, I thought that Faint was a Dark type. Come on, Dark type. Come on, Doctor. Ah, uh, almost there. Uh, one more time, please. No, stop. 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 Go. So uh, sorry, Stunky. Dotler up to level 15. I wonder if Dotler will like evolve soon, or is like Dotler its final form? It would be annoying if Dotler is its final form, but I don't know. I don't know what Pokemon, uh, what level Pokemon le uh, evolve at, how many evolutions Pokemon have. Certainly not from the new gen Pokemon, at least. Be uh, interesting to see if they do evolve and when they evolve and what they evolve into, of course. Uh, trainer tips: You can set up camps on routes, and your Pokémon can earn XP from camping. Five is in the people's camps too. When you find tents along your way, something dropped down here—a burn hill. Okay, I'll take that. Let's try to avoid these. I don't know who that is. It is a Rookity. Cool. Dotla, you don't want to be involved in this battle, Dotla, probably. Yamper, uh, you can go at it. Yep, go on, Yamper. Jesus Christ. Okay.
Kill it, kill it, kill it. Paralyze it, paralyze it, paralyze it, yeah. Oh, come on. So if it hits us, we're going to chill it that instantly. Well done, Yams. Well done. Ooh, Jutal, Yamper, both very close. Stunkies everywhere. There's also a Pokemon schoolboy here. Oh, instead of a Pokemon, I found a trainer. I'll have to check how strong you are. I don't think you want to, but you can go ahead if you want. Schoolboy Marvin. Sent out a buddy. Alright, so in that case, we are just going to use Struggle Bug. Absorb, not very effective, mate. Sorry about that. Struggle bug. He's super effective. Oh, okay, maybe not. But, doesn't really matter. I mean, whatever they're using isn't effective against me anyway, so doesn't matter too much. Maybe we need to hit it with a confusion. There we go. Tootle up and Yampa up as well. A Brugossi Fleer. No, we'll keep it. Because if you remember, Gossy Fleer, the struggle bug, and it's super effective. Okay, Kossi clear. Bye bye. Rookity? Maybe, maybe not. Sorry, Marv. Yeah, ouch, your Pokemon are way too strong. Yeah, I know. I know they are. Ah, uh, no, 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 go away! Tyro! Ah, <laughs> uh, god damn it. Alright. Still yet to catch you, right? I don't think I've caught a Tyro. I think I tried to catch a Tyro. And it was doing my head in. Stop trying to make me flinch! Ah! Please, helping hand to nobody. Good. Good. That's what you deserve. You have no friend, Pyro. There you go, and you have no life anymore. God damn. God damn, Tyro, man. I mean, Wookiee went up. Can't complain about that. Level 17. Again, don't know if Rookie will evolve. I imagine Rookie will evolve. You know, there's always been like a sort of starting area, flying type Pokemon that you can have triple ele uh, triple evolutions on. So, hey, a gym challenger, you look real ace out there during the opening ceremony. Thanks. Oh, but where's Hop? He went on ahead. Can't sit still at all, can he? Guess he really wants to catch up to his brother. Oh, I know. Let me tell you about something a bit interesting. See that building over there? It's a company owned by Chairman Rose. Just past Route 3, there's a mine where they dig up ore. That building over there processes it into energy. In other words, the Chairman is responsible for providing the Galar region with its energy too. Ah, fair enough. Can't really say. 
can't say I really get him, but the chairman seems like a pretty brilliant guy, right? Here, a little something for having a chin whack with me. It's an escape rope. Ah, okay, cool. Escape rope always comes in handy in a bit of a pinch. Yeah, we know what it does. I'll hurl up your Pokemon. Thank you very much, I actually needed that. The way to circle is really long, but that's a kind of challenge in its own right. Good luck, Chain Challenger. Bye, Sonya. See you in a bit. Okay, let's go this way. Some shiny stuff over here. Trying to revive. What is that? 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 Uh, I don't know what that Pokemon is, but it's a Pancham that we're going up against right now. Breaks the mold. Confusion on Bye bye, Panchamp. Sorry, mate. That's talking about. That's what I'm talking about. It's good. It's good. What is this thing? What is this thing? What is that? That looks awesome. I don't, I don't, I don't even know what it is, but it looks cool. Can I like? Can I try and catch it right now? I don't want to attack it again because I feel like I might kill it. Come on, we need to catch you. You're gonna replace our Wulu. Come on. There we go. Wally Collie. I don't know what it was, but it looked it looks awesome. I think it is gonna have to replace our Wulu, I'm afraid. I just don't use Wulu, and it just looks just looks cool. Most of its body has the same composition as coal. Fittingly, this Pokemon was first discovered in coal mines about 400 years ago. I would not. I would like to add him to the party. Him or her, I don't judge. There we go. Roly Coley. Or Roly Collie, whatever you want to call it. Let's check him out. Or her, it's a her, it's definitely a her. Let's check out Roly Coley. What are your move sets? Tackle, Smoke Screen, Rapid Spin, and Smackdown. Naive. Hey, yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll, uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm not gonna can't complain about that. Have to catch them all. Got him. Yeah. Hey, Picklos, how's it going? When you when you on your way to work? When you like getting ready for work? I mean, I'm not gonna say go away. Um, but. Yeah, it's always nice to have people in the chat and uh, talking to, so welcome back. Hello. Uh, yeah, this uh, this Rolly Collie person seems cool. Don't know how quickly we'll be able to train him up because he is quite low level. And there seems to be just a whole bunch of them here. Walking to one of them. Uh, rock type is effective against the rock type. That animation seems cool. Still not sure what to make of this Wally Collie thing. Again, all of these Pokemon that I encounter at the moment are all re relatively new to me. So never really too sure what to make of it. I think it's cool that it's like a sort of bicycle thing. It's got like a wheel underneath it and it spins around and stuff, which is quite cool. I don't know if it has any evolutions. I don't know if there's a lot of information about any of the uh, evolutions. Um, yeah, our, um, our start Pokemon evolved. Uh, our Grookey evolved, which is quite awesome. Again, not too sure what to make of the evolution. I mean, I haven't used him yet in battle. There we go, Rolly Kelly. Delivers a critical hit to kill the wild Rolly Kelly. Come on, Rolly Kelly, you can do it. Gotta get the XP bonus, gotta get that boost, mate. Uh, let's go ahead and restore you. You took quite a beating in that last battle. 
Uh, yeah. So our Pokemon. So our Grookey evolved into this guy. A Thwacky. I think I'm saying that right. Um, just seems cool. I mean, wasn't quite what I was expecting from an evolution, but, you know, he's gone from one stick to two, which can only mean that his final evolution must have three sticks. It just, it just has to have three sticks, right? Okay. Sneak past these other guys. No, no, no. Look, I don't want to get involved. I want to go down here because I think that there's something over here. Or is this the way that we're meant to go? I don't know which way we're meant to go. Um, let's go check it out. What is this guy? There's a camp over here. Ah, let's go battle this guy. Let's get Rolly Collie some decent XP. I carry letters and victories. Okay. Postman Tad. 